वकील सुनील कुमार प्रोफेसर एंड हेड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वर्ल्ड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन ऑफ टू स्लैब फॉर ए कैंटिल रिटेनिंग वॉल एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज एंड डिजाइन द टू स्लैब ऑफ कैंटिल रिटेनिंग वॉल इंट्रोडक्शन द सॉइल रिएक्शन वेरीज लीनियरली so this is the soil reaction it varies linearly with more pressure at on toe end that means this is toe slab this is stem slab this is heel slab of a cantilever retaining wall so at the end of toe slab you find maximum pressure and at the end of heel slab you find minimum pressure so this is due to earth pressure on stem slab so which is this is figure 1 in figure 1 we have shown the stress the earth pressure it is there in this so this is earth pressure ph is earth pressure so due to earth pressure you find the p by a that is m by z that is the maximum pressure p1 you will get and the minimum pressure you will get on this particular side the basic design principle of cantilever retaining wall is to see that the pressure at the end of the heel slab is never negative that means it should not lose the contact since soil cannot apply negative earth pressure so therefore the retaining wall should not leave the soil that means it should remain with the founding soil so that means this reaction p2 can be zero it cannot be negative if it is negative then it, it it will get lifted up so that is not at all possible so if the earth pressure is negative the stability of the structure itself is in doubt so structure will not be stable if earth pressure is negative so therefore you should see that the minimum pressure that is p2 should be either zero or it should be greater than zero that is what we should observe so apart from soil pressure direct weights of backfill and the surcharge of the wheel are also considered in the design so this is shown in figure number 2 figure number 2 shows so this is w1 weight of soil w2 w3 weight of stem w4 weight of base slab and this is ph is earth pressure so we are supposed to carry out first first we should assume the dimensions of the retaining wall by thumb rule and then afterwards we have to do stability analysis so when we find the structure is stable further we go for design of stem slab design of toe slab and design of heel slab so i have already created a video for stability analysis you please go through the stability analysis so that you will understand how to find the reactions and everything so next analysis of toe slab so where is the maximum moment in the toe slab if you just observe the figure 1 so this is toe slab from here to here of length l l1 so up to the face of the stem slab this is a toe slab so where will be the maximum bending moment for this particular toe slab when it is subjected to pressure p1 here and pressure p3 here so where do you, where will be the maximum bending moment just think or the maximum bending moment in the toe slab will be at the face of the stem slab at the face of the stem slab you find a maximum bending moment it's a cantilever of length l1 which is a hogging bending moment so because it will try to lift up the the to portion the pressure is upward therefore it will try to lift up so taking moment about the face of the stem slab m is equal to p1 into l1 square by 2 is p1 isn't it so therefore here it will be p3 into l1 square by 2 that will be the pressure due to udl then next, p4 into 2/3 l1 so this is the p4 load p4 load this is at 2/3 l1 of a triangular portion or so we we will find out the maximum bending moment 
so mu is equal to 1.5 times m where what is e e is nothing but eccentricity eccentricity is b by 2 that is base width divided by 2 minus sigma ms minus sigma mo divided by mw so ms is the stabilizing moment sum of stabilizing moment mo is stem like overturning moment and the algebraic sum of these two divided by the weight downward weight that will give us eccentricity e is equal to b by 2 minus this then p1 is equal to sigma w total weight downward divided by b into 1 plus 6 e by b so this should be less than sbc of soil and p2 is sigma w by b into 1 minus 6 e by b this should be greater than or equal to 0 and p3 is the force which is at the face of the stem pressure at the face of the stem so it is p2 plus p1 minus p2 divided by b into b minus l1 and p4 is the area of the triangular diagram it is half l1 into p1 minus p3 now the design of toe slab equating mu limit with mu mu limit it depends upon the formula it is 0.418 fckbd square if it is mild steel 0.138 fckbd square if it is hysd 415 and it is 0.133 fckbd square if it is hysd bar 500 fe 500 find the effective depth required and compare it we have to by equating mu limit with mu so we find the effective depth required and we will compare it with the whatever we have provided in preliminary dimensions for which we have done already the stability analysis which shall be greater uh, the provided dimension should be greater than or equal to the effective depth required now determine area of steel by using g.1.1b point one point one so if we find that if it is mu is less than mu limit so we will find that you will be having the under reinforced section then we will find out the area of steel is determined by this equation and it is also to be compared with EST minimum because distribution steel is EST minimum 0.12 by 100 into B into D and B is always taken 1 meter that is 1000 mm provide design steel at bottom and minimum steel as a distribution steel perpendicular to it as shown in figure number 3 so this is figure number 3 so figure number three this is your toe slab this is our toe slab and here design steel will be at the bottom and the distribution steel will be perpendicular to it so so both are same that means in this particular case the design steel is less than usually the span is less l1 is less therefore design steel is less than the minimum steel therefore we have provided same steel as the steel on uh, let that side as well as perpendicular to it so these are the references used for preparation of this particular video and thank you one and all